All right, now we are going to uh, again continue on. Today's all about graph and quadratics. Now, this morning we looked at graph and quadratics in what's called again the vertex form. Because again, you can look at the equation, you can find the vertex. Now, this one is graph and quadratics in what's called factored form. All right. So a quadratic in the form y equals a, that's the same a we've been talking about, uh, times x minus r times x minus s is called factor form, where r and s are the x-intercepts. So they are where our graph is going to hit the x-axis. Now, coming back to this morning, is that because the x-intercepts both hit the x-axis, they are twin points which means we can graph a, uh, a quadratic in factored form by number one, plotting these x-intercepts, and we are gonna be able to find the vertex of the parabola because it has to be in the middle of those x-intercepts. And so what we're going to do is, we are going to find the middle of those x-intercepts by again, just like our midpoint formula that we did uh, earlier this year, by finding the average of the x-intercepts. And then using that information, to find out what the y value of our x-intercept is. All right, so instead of using our step method, which we use for vertex form, we are going to use the x-intercepts and use them to find our vertex to plot a quadratic and factored form. All right, so here we go. Here is a quadratic uh, that is in factored form. All right, so we have y equals negative uh, times x plus 4 uh, times x minus 2. Now, first thing is, is we have a negative sign there. So this parabola, our A value, not like it matters for us yet, but our A value is a negative one here. So this parabola is gonna open down. But here's what we need. We need our x-intercepts. And so I look in here, now this is just like we had before. There is supposed to be a minus sign there. So the x-intercept, one of them, is going to be negative four. And the other, I look in the next bracket, uh, the minus sign's there, and so the other one is two. And so there is two points already that I can graph. Because the x-intercept, the first one is at negative four, and again, when you have an x-intercept, the y-coordinate is always zero. And if I have an x-intercept of two, well, that means I'm looking at the point two, zero. All right, so two points I can graph. Negative four, zero. So again, you can see it hits the x-axis as it should. That's why it's an x-intercept. And x equals two. So there's two points. Now, again, we are going to find our third point, which is the vertex. Right? That's the very important spot. And we can find the x-coordinate of it. Again, by finding the middle of our x-intercepts because they're twin points. So our vertex is somewhere in the middle here. So again, if I want to find the middle of two numbers, I add them up and divide by two. Again, just like our midpoint formula that we used. All right, so uh, let's see here. I have negative four plus two. Uh, that's negative two. Uh, divide by two, and I got a negative one. All right, now... That is just the x-coordinate, right? I need a y-coordinate because I need a point. Well, I'm going to sub that x value into our equation right here because here's an equation to find y on this parabola. And so uh, I'm going to sub x equals negative 1 into the equation. if I can write that. Ooh, ah, there we go. All right, so here we go. So now what I got is I might as well do it up here because then I can see it a lot better, or you can too. So I have y equals negative, and that's really a negative 1, again, a secret 1. Our x value we're subbing in is negative 1, so instead of x plus 4, I'm going to have a negative 1 plus 4. And then times, uh, let's see here, x minus 2, I can have a negative 1, a negative 1 minus 2. All right, and then again, I'm just going to do my math here. Uh, well, negative 1 doesn't change. 
Uh, this bracket is going to have a three, and this bracket is going to have a negative three. Okay. And now I'm going to multiply my three numbers. All right, so I have negative one times three. Uh, that's negative three times uh, negative nine. Uh, that is, oh, sorry, that shouldn't be a negative nine. It should be a minus three. Minus one, minus two. Somebody, I wish somebody had jumped in there for me. Well, let's get that erased. There we go. Make that nice. So that again is a minus three. I guess I was looking at these two threes in my head. All right, so minus one times three is negative three times another negative three. Negative times a negative gives us a nine. And so our vertex, all right, is at the point. Our x value is negative one and our y value is nine. All right, so now I'm going to plot that information. All right, so uh, let's see here. Negative one up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, now I can draw my vertex. And draw my parabola, I should say. And there we go. All right, so a little bit harder than last time, that's for sure. A little more involved. Let's try another one of those. All right, here we go. So we have uh, the graph, the quadratic equation, y equals 1 half x minus 6 uh, times x plus 2. All right, so the, again, the first step here is to find my x-intercepts. All right, so uh, one of them, what you're essentially doing here, finding the x-intercept, is what number makes the bracket zero, right? Because your y value is zero. All right, so uh, in this case, uh, x equals 6 is one of them. All right, which will, get, again, give me the point six zero. And the other one here, what breaks this bracket zero? Uh, negative two. So x equals negative two. All right, which again, that means I got this point here, negative two, zero. There we go. Nothing too crazy there to get uh, two of those points, right? But again, now we're looking at getting the vertex, all right? So the vertex, again, if I'm looking at getting the x-coordinate of it first, all right, so let's see here. Uh, I take 6 plus my minus 2. Whoa, that's a terrible 6. X equals 6 plus negative 2. All right, and again, I'm finding the middle, so I'm dividing by 2. Uh, 6 plus negative 2 is a 4 divided by 2. This time our X coordinate is a 2. All right, now I'm going to sub that value in to get my y, all right? So I'm going to sub it into my equation here, y equals 1 half. Uh, I don't like fractions, all right? So I know a lot of people don't. It's just a divided by question is not done yet. So I'm going to, 1 divided by 2 is 0.5. All right, now the next bracket, x minus 6. Well, x is 2, so I have a 2 minus 6. All right, then my next bracket, uh, x plus 2. Well, that means we have a 2 plus 2. All right, so uh, simplifying this, let's see here. We got a 0. 0.5. Whoops, 0. 0.5. Uh, 2 minus 6 is minus 4. And 2 plus 2 is 4. All right. I then multiply my three numbers. Uh, well, a half of negative 4 is negative 2 uh, times 4 is a negative 8. And so my vertex is at uh, the point 2, negative 8. All right. So now we have enough uh, information here to graph my parabola. I've got my three points. So here I go. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to graph the x-intercepts first. So I get 6, 0. There we go. Uh, the other one's negative 2, 0. All right. And my vertex finally is at 2, negative 8. So I go down 2, 4, 6, 8. And guess what? The parabola opens up. There's my positive A value. Just a little note there. But there is my parabola. Again, I'm going to label my points here. So uh, this is 6, 0 right here. 
Oops, sorry, it's not. It's negative two zero. So that point's negative two zero. Got to label our points. So I'm going to ask you to do uh, six zero. There we go. And our vertex here is at two negative eight. And there we go. So that is how we graph in factored form. We got to find our x-intercepts and then use them to find.